Jasper Boomerang is injured, Virat Kohli returns to India's T20I squad for the Asia Cup. While KL Rahul rejoined India's team, Harshal Patel was also ineligible for selection. Cricket is in our blood. Cricket is our passion. So it is our job to maintain this passion. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that every piece of big news related to cricket can reach you soon. If you like the news, then like the video and do not forget to leave your comment in the comment field below. Let's start the video. After a hiatus of more than a month following the completion of the Tour of England on July 17, Virat Kohli has been selected in India's T20I team for the Asia Cup. Jasprit Bumrah, though, was not included in the team announced late on Monday night because of a back issue, according to PTI. A rib injury prevented Harshal Patel from being selected as well. KL Rahul returned as vice-captain as well, having missed every India match since the IPL 2022 season ended in May. Rahul was initially injured in the groin, had surgery for a sports hernia, tested positive for COVID-19, and was consequently disqualified from the Caribbean tour. After the tour of England, Boomra chose not to travel to the West Indies, and he was also given a break from the forthcoming ODI series in Zimbabwe. He reportedly experienced back spasms the previous week and traveled to Bengaluru's National Cricket Academy, where he was given a niggle-related diagnosis. Kohli will not play in the ODIs in Zimbabwe because he was rested from the most recent ODI and T20I series in the Caribbean. Since the T20 World Cup ended in November of last year, Kohli has only participated in four T20 international matches and has missed 19. He has scored 81 runs at an average of 20 and a strike rate of 128.57. His performance with Royal Challengers Bangalore in the IPL 2022 was questionable, 341 runs, average 22.73, strike rate 116, and in his most recent T20 is in England, he only managed to score 1 and 11. In India's T20I team for the Asia Cup, Arshdeep Singh, Ravi Bishnoi, Avesh Khan, and Deepak Kuda have all kept their positions. Ishan Kishan, Kuldeep Yadav, and Sanju Samson, all of whom participated in the recent 5 T20I series in the West Indies, were left out of the 15-man roster and were instead designated as standby players. Prior to the home series against Australia and South Africa and the T20 World Cup starting in Australia in October, the Asia Cup is India's third-to-last T20I assignment. The most recent ODI format Asia Cup match took place in 2018, and India is the reigning champion. They had triumphed over Bangladesh in a nail biting game that came down to the final ball in Dubai. India will face Pakistan in their opening match of the T20 Asia Cup on August 28. This will be the first time the two teams have faced each other since their encounter in the T20 World Cup last year. Group A is made up of India, Pakistan, and the winner of the qualifying tournament, while Group B e is made up of Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, and Bangladesh. Ten games will be played in Dubai and three in Sharjah, with all matches beginning at 6 p.m. local time, 7.30 p.m. IST. On August 20 in Oman, the first round of games to select the sixth team in the competition will get underway. UA, Kuwait, Singapore, and Hong Kong are the teams vying for a spot in Group A, along with India and Pakistan. Each club will play the other two teams in their group once during the main draw, and the top two teams from each group will advance to the Super 4 round, which begins on September 3rd. The top two groups will advance to the final on September 11th after playing each other once in the Super 4 round. Due to the current economic turmoil in the island nation, the Asia Cup was originally scheduled to take place in Sri Lanka this year but was instead moved to the UAE last month. Despite the fact that the tournament is being held in the UAE, SLC will still serve as the competition's official hosts. 